I found another incredible Sea Ray model to show you guys on the channel. I'm at Prince William Marina in Woodbridge, Virginia, and this is a 2018 Sea Ray 510 Sundancer Signature. Now the Sundancer line is still incredibly popular for Sea Ray, although they no longer make Sundancers of this size anymore. The Special Edition Signature model includes slightly upgraded materials on the inside, materials very similar to the L-Class yachts from Sea Ray, which I do have a couple tours of already on the channel. We of course will be doing the full tour of this yacht today, so let's get started. Now, like most of our tours, we will be starting on the hydraulic swim platform at the rear of the yacht. You can see some chalks, and that is where you will store a jet ski or a tender. This hydraulic swim platform will lower into the water so you can release that jet ski or tender, and it's also a great place to swim off of on the back of the yacht. Under this hatch, there is an integrated boarding ladder, and you also have these great integrated steps. So when this platform is lowered, you can walk right up into the cockpit. There's also three large storage compartments. This is a great place to store extra lines, fenders, or covers, or whatever else you need to store back here. Over the cockpit, there is a sunshade that will extend out, giving this area some protection from the sun. You can see there is a shower right here and this is the cockpit you have a really good sized seating area here that wraps around this table and then over on the starboard side you have a small grill as well as another refrigerator underneath and a little bit of storage right here we're going to make our way inside this beautiful yacht. So let's slip our shoes off and step inside. So right away you'll notice the TV mounted on the starboard side. And this is a wet bar area. Sea Ray does not consider this the main salon. This is actually called the sunroom. You have a large sofa right here as well as a convertible table. So this will fold over giving you more dining space. Underneath the TV, there is a drawer refrigerator. Some more bottle storage right here. As well as your trash bin. You can see a sink right here. And you have these really lovely countertops that you'll see all throughout the yacht. Forward of all of this is the helm station. Now this is a double lift bolster seat and this entire seat can rotate to face the table so everyone can dine around this table. And then at the helm station, it's very sleek. You have twin Raymarine screens as well as a Mercury information system. You have a compass forward of that as well as some engine instrumentation for the engines on either side. You can see your Rockford Fosgate stereo head unit. You have a VHF radio, your steering wheel. These are all the switches. So these are for things like your lights, your anchor, the skylight, the bilge pumps, your horn. Your trim tab controls are right here. Here is your throttle control, as well as the joystick for the Zeus pod system. Overhead, you have a huge skylight, which brings in tons of natural light. And forward of that, you have this atrium area. The main salon is actually right down these steps, but because of the large windshield, you have tons of natural light that pours into this area. Now this is the main salon. And you can see all of that openness above your head. Now this large sofa faces the TV and soundbar that's mounted on the wall. 
and you do see a handle down there, this is actually convertible to another double berth. This is a two cabin layout yacht, but with this double berth, you can sleep some extra people. And then on the port side is the galley. You have a microwave convection oven combo, your refrigerator, and freezer underneath. You have a really large sink. And then you have a two burner cooktop as well as a bunch of storage. And overhead, you have really nice storage areas as well. Here is the electrical panel for the yacht. And then through this forward door is the VIP cabin. So as you can see, you have a double bed in this VIP cabin. There is a hatch above. You have a cedar lined closet right here. And this lights up automatically when you open the door. It's a nice touch. There's a small TV mounted on the wall. And then this cabin has an ensuite, but it does share duties as the day head. You can see your toilet. There is a full separate shower stall. in your sink. And you'll see the head has the same countertops as the galley. So very consistent all throughout the yacht. Here's that door to the day head. And then if we move back to the midship, we'll step into the master cabin. You have a lovely queen bed in here, as well as hanging lockers on either side of the bed. You have a good sized TV and another sound bar mounted on the wall. And here is that second closet. Behind this door is a washer and dryer combo. And of course you have your own ensuite in the master. The sink is on the outside and then through this door is the shower and the toilet. One thing I really like is the LED lights that are behind the mirror. Gives plenty of great lighting in this space. So now we've seen all of the inside spaces on the yacht. Let's head back outside and check out the bow as well as the engines. Before we head up to the bow, we will check out the engines, which are right under this hatch. This yacht has a pair of Cummins Zeus QSC 600 engines. These engines produce 574 horsepower each for a total of 1148. The top speed of this yacht is about 30 knots, cruising at 24 knots. 
with a range of anywhere from 250 to 300 miles. Really depends on your cruising speed. You can see your Cummins generator over there. As well as the Zeus pod systems. So we'll take these couple of steps. Up on the bow, you have a large sun pad and these backrests are adjustable to different positions. Here you can see your anchor chain storage and some washdowns. There are handrails on either side although the walkway is a bit narrow. Let's slip our shoes back off, get out of the heat. And I think we'll finish the tour right here at the helm. Thank you to Prince William Marina for setting up the tour. They will be linked down in the description if you wanna see this yacht in more detail. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Until next time.